<laughs> so let me just very quickly uh, uh, go through the last slide. Uh, basically, this this last slide is basically what happened uh, with uh, former Raffle students like you, okay, and the former uh, uh, students from Hua Chong. And basically, the former student, a researcher from uh, here, from Raffles, basically is in charge of the project called Artificial DNA Engineering. So what, what they want to do is that, hey, you know what, uh, I know this, and we have found some uh, spintronics current type of thing um, 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 in experiments in 2011. So I want her to, okay, can you reproduce the, uh, that, that answer from numerics or not? So I want her, what we are doing is that we want to solve the density functional theory, okay, which is a quantum chemistry method, but it, it really doesn't matter, all right? I mean, whether it's quantum chemistry, quantum physics, or whatever, it doesn't matter, you know, I mean, I, 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 I just want to get it working, all right? So basically, I will solve some of the constant equation, and basically, uh, we want to model uh, uh, the Hartree potential by the uh, classical uh, EM boson and LDA to exchange, and so we want to look for two-dimensional exotic behavior, and this is uh, collaborating uh, in the next step with the NUS labs, all right? And with Hua Chong, uh, we are also very happy that we receive uh, very bright students, all right? That uh, they are able to handle something called the matrix product states, okay? So this is something like a continuous, I mean, a consecutive singular value decompositions, but these are really known for uh, uh, great for uh, renormalization uh, as purposes, and uh, they are not only for quantum physics. All right, and I would say that if there were any breakthrough in engineering, okay, if there were any breakthrough fundamentally from engineering, my guess is that it has to come from tensor network. Okay, okay, this is this is our this is our feeling. So what, what they are doing more or less is tensor contraction, something like that. And they are, I mean, they are pre-university students, so they are suffi uh, sufficiently bright that they could understand all this, and I'm quite surprised, and I'm very happy that uh, they could. So if you're interested, please write us an email, contact at dustcon.com, and say that, you know what, um, I mean, I, I would want to see how I could help you, or how you can help me, you know, or, or something like that. Uh, yeah, so then, yeah, okay, so uh, uh, we will see you next time. Thank you. Today's session is really about a uh, more uh, informal interaction with a scientist here. So, do you have any questions, first of all, for Dr. Ma? Any questions whatsoever? This is a rare opportunity to really have a close informal interaction with the scientists. Maybe you can start the ball rolling by asking Dr. Ma, uh, what makes you decide quantum physics as your, as your passion? I think quantum <coughs> physics is definitely the most difficult uh, uh, science. Okay, I mean, uh, many of you uh, might not agree with, with me, but I like to have real, real challenges. All right. I mean, when uh, I mean the difference between you choose an engineering course and you choose a physics course is that what you find is that you only learn how to solve a partial differential equation like uh, in in uh, year three of engineering or year four, right? I mean, this is normally how you how you work. But in physics, you have to get it work at right before you come to the U. So because um, uh, normally this is how it works. So the the challenge, all right, is much much higher because in engineering, what happens is that normally physicists tell you what to do, right? Then you just follow instruction. But in science, no one tells you what will happen, all right? I mean, no one tells you, and then you have to find a path, and then you have some deadline, and that that is quite quite fun, and um, and and also if you really want to apply mathematics to the full maximum, then quantum physics is the place for you. I mean, you use every single uh, every single tool of abstract mathematics in in quantum theory, group theory, tensor network, uh, 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 differential geometry, topology, manifold. I mean, I mean, whatever abstract um, uh, things you can find, um, they are all used being uh, in quantum physics. So this is a place to uh, to implement all your uh, abstract mathematics. Any questions from the floor? You guys are very young, but in 
um, students who are just starting out on the road for science. You know, it's uh, you will not that you may not have encountered some of the equations before, but I do hope that today's session gave you a, a glimpse into how math can be used in quantum physics. So I do have another question for Dr. Ma. Um, what do you think quantum physics could be used to help society? How do you think quantum physics could be used to help society? Mm -hmm. Um, I think that what happened uh, in the uh, next session is that now the so I think when you talk about society now uh, this is overly broad okay now whether it helps mankind as so as a society or how it helps Singapore as a, so as a, so as a society okay now what happened is that if you look at our uh, triple E industry, okay, I mean Singapore is considered to be uh, uh, one of the four uh, uh, most energetic uh, uh, countries for a semiconductor industry. But now you can see that clearly we are losing out in the sense that um, we are overly expensive. All right, I mean Singapore uh, is overly expensive, and uh, basically um, other countries are catching up. All right. So now what happened is that if you want to have a competitive edge, okay, I mean if, if Singapore as a society wants to have a competitive edge, then it basically has to find solutions from quantum, okay, whereby the, 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 the uh, I mean, whereby your, your surrounding countries do not have, right? So for example, can you create some artificial DNA uh, form, right? Can you create that, right? Can you uh, engineer those type of uh, DNA stuff? That, that basically have a spintronics current whereby, uh, I mean, whereby the Singaporean brains, right, can really uh, uh, beat those from the surrounding countries, right? I mean, this is how you see Singapore as a society. How you see a society as a whole, I mean, as a mankind, of course, we will see that um, uh, everything at the molecular level is quantum, okay? So, I would think that, okay, in the future, when the computers are getting more and more advanced, while we are getting more and more, I mean, the better and better solvers, all right, we'll be able to handle bigger and bigger systems, and that's why we can actually uh, uh, emulate a uh, so-called three-dimensional drug, all right, that could cure basically cancer or, uh, or a genetic d uh, diseases. But currently, we, I mean, but currently our computers are still too weak. I mean, you, I mean, you think that the computers run very fast, right? But I tell you, it's, it's really slow, uh, I mean, compared to, to the demands which we, 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 we work want. And our computer here cannot solve more than two particles uh, uh, quantum me mechanically, all right? But we demand 10 to the power of 23, right? Because one mole is 10 to the power of 23 particles. So there's way too, too much to come. And um, uh, in this way, uh, quantum physics, I mean quantum uh, uh, science, I mean quantum science, I think as, uh, I mean as itself is interesting, but when it's applied to fields like biochemistry or uh, 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 mathematical science, I think there will be a lot of excitement uh, coming up. Any biologists here? People who are taking bio, bio, just a show of hands. Okay, we have some from here. Uh, what's your subject combination?
If you still have more questions or you want to get more email from Dr. Ma, feel free to drop me an email over here or you can go through uh, me as well. Okay, I'll wait for our hands together to thank Dr. Ma. Or you can come, or you can come over the booth. So basically, uh, at the canteen, we have a booth there. Yeah. Or maybe.